Hello everybody, it's Garrett, and today we're going to be talking about some controversial changes which are coming next season, and also the season after, and you probably won't like these changes if you do like opening packs. So let's get on to it, and also the giveaway winner will be announced tomorrow, so if you want to enter to win 6,900 Apex coins, all you've got to do is comment down below and subscribe to the channel, and good luck, you may just win. So first of all, we have to talk about stickers, and you may be aware of these. These don't seem like they are coming next season, which will be season 13, but it seems they're most definitely coming in season 14 and the one controversy which has popped up and gone and keeps popping up over and over again is going to be the fact that these will be put into the general loot pool therefore polluting it with more common skins, more rare skins, more epic skins and also more legendary skins. A lot of people are complaining that when they unbox legendary it could just be a sticker but it gets worse because it seems respawn are messing with the loot pool a bit more. If you weren't fed up of hollow sprays dropping as legendaries already how about a hollow spray pack? Well recently a hollow spray pack was recently data mined and it does seem like it is coming to the game next season in less than a week so there is a chance whenever you buy a bundle it could come with a hollow spray pack what in the world is the point of this who at respawn said they needed this this also comes in light of the recent charm pack which was also added and has only come to the store once to quite a lot of feedback which it never came back to a lot of the flack of these issues will be deflected by the fact that the battle pass is going to be one of the best battle passes we have seen in a while this is because the epic skins are actually of very high quality. First of all, here's the Newcastle one, and you've all seen the Maggie one. This means when people buy it, it is going to be more worth their money, because we went from this type of epic skin a few seasons ago to this. So it does seem like Respawn are improving a lot, and they're also releasing more and more cheap legendary skins into the store. You may have noticed the other day, there was a Wraith for less than 1,800 Apex coins, which is the typical price. So this is a sign of legendary skins prices being reduced after a period of time. In this case, the period of time was three years, but Hopefully they don't carry on with that, so you could be seeing a lot more cheap skins. Also, there has been rumours of a build going up to content creators, though it would be a very intelligent idea right now to turn notifications on for the Play Apex Twitter account, because they typically notify you when they release new gameplay of content creators playing on the new build. They usually do this around this time per season, so make sure to keep an eye out for that, and keep an eye out on large creators' channels. I can't tell you exactly who, because I don't know who's in the Game Changer program. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon, folks. Thanks.